Hello people, today we're coming your way with financial literacy, financial intelligence. As a country, Ghana, and a continent, Africa, most of us are financially obese. So if today is your first time, share, like, and click the subscription button down there. Make sure you comment as well. Don't go anywhere, stay tuned. And let's get into the video proper thank you very much today we're talking about financial literacy or financial intelligence what is financial intelligence it's just the possession of knowledge or a skill that enables an individual to be able to make informed and effective decisions with their financial resources it's as simple as that but this is a topic that has been on my chest we all attend school and especially those of us who did accounting finance we are only taught how to keep records we are only taught how to record transactions but we are never taught how to make the money so this is what we are going to be talking about how to make the money and to be able to multiply it is what I term as financial intelligence. You're being able to make a lot of it, be able to maintain, keep, and expand its base. Is what we are going to be talking about. So let's ask ourselves. Financial intelligence is not taught in schools, but it is something that one can learn free of charge, mostly free if it's even going to cost you something it's that cheap so why are most people not willing to learn financial intelligence in the first place number one it is our mindset how we are trained growing up growing up our parents will tell us that or in our community they will be telling us that our money is the root of all evil and that assertion really really put a lot of people off because your reward is in heaven so if your reward is in heaven then there is no point working hard right here on earth point number two people don't want to learn anything about financial literacy or financial intelligence because they don't know that they don't know and a lot of people too think there is not the need for them to know what financial intelligence is all about so leave everything to fate they sit aloof and be expecting mana to be coming from heaven a lot of people are afraid to take risk though that is a deadly weapon it's not all that that are bad so people are so much afraid to the extent that they wouldn't want to risk asking for any help whatsoever for them to be able to start their own business. No risk with debt, no risk with any action that will let their dreams become reality. Point number four, another reason why a lot of people don't want to bother themselves learning it in financial literacy or financial intelligence is because one, they have not seen in their vicinity anyone who has made it in their community they haven't seen anyone who has made it in life and when they get to know someone in their locality or those few who have seen someone who has made it financially in their community they decide not to approach not to go close to this person for mentorship the very few who do go close to these people for mentorship either take no action or they decide to procrastinate those who take action when they have seen in their community somebody who has made it they go to them take action to start something on their own in the toughest times or in hard times they just give in they just give up totally they forget to know that wherever there is trouble 
one need to keep going point number five share lack of confidence yes telling themselves that they can't do it for that reason they don't bother themselves at all they wouldn't even pick a needle yes they, they would just give up they will not even try they lack self-confidence they feel there are some special people out there in the world who are supposed to be making moves who are supposed to be doing stuff so they don't start in the first place that is one gain financial intelligence it's that simple get information be updated be abreast with the current situation when it comes to finance when it comes to money when it comes to business read wide range of books because every knowledge that you would want to gain now and in future is been written or is somewhere in a book just go out there and grab as many books as possible point number three take classes attend seminars conferences network events to be able to broaden your horizon to be able to broaden your scope to be able to enlarge your brain make sure you take classes about financial literacy point number four watch videos like you are doing videos about financial intelligence videos about business how to start business videos about how to market your products sales anything any video that will help you generate more money into your pocket is what you need to be sticking to point number five you need to know the difference between a liability and an asset many of us are possessing so many things that does not put money in our pocket it rather takes money out of our pocket for example the mobile phone they are very expensive these days especially the smartphone if you want to be financially literate if you want to be financially literate and you want to start your business mobile phone can be a liability or an asset at the same time for example if you go and buy an iphone or any of the smartphones at that high price and all that you do is to buy data all by you to buy airtime and be posting pictures on your status where it doesn't put money in your pocket it's a liability if you use this phone to take pictures of a product that people can buy on your instagram your facebook your whatsapp status then you are using this one to generate you using this mobile phone to generate what revenue to generate money into your pocket so it becomes an asset so you need to know what is an asset and what is a liability anything that puts money in your pocket is an asset anything that takes money from your pocket is a liability so you need to differentiate that so that you know how to spend and use anything that you have acquired point number six don't ever invest in anything or any investment that you don't understand you need to study in depth of any investment you would want to go into before you venture into it point number seven no good and bad debt yes you need to know good and bad debt it's not every debt that is bad and it's not every debt that is good especially if you want to start your own business and you go into debt that is interest bearing from the scratch to start a business you may be suffocating yourself so you need to know when to go in for a debt a debt you need to go in for one only when you are going to make sure or when only when you know this debt is going to be generating fund back to pay back the debt and to expand your business but to take a debt and that debt is not going to expand any business that debt is not going to generate any income never dare going into it point number eight financial literacy is all about the mindset the commitment to stick to the course it's about your mindset make up your mind live your life like there is no one to rescue you 
and make sure that you go all out towards where the light is shining it's about commitment you need to commit to the course that i would want to learn and i would want to be investing let's say for example 15 percent of anything that i am it's a commitment it's 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 got no plan b you need to be firm and commit to it point number nine keeping cash in cash under your pillow is a dead cash so you need to educate yourself about that keeping cash in cash under your pillow or in a safe in your room is a dead cash you need to make sure that you don't just save you save you invest and you protect it all about financial literacy is to make sure that your investment or your cash your savings bears children it multiplies if i say it bears children it means that if you have 20 of them here in the next year you need we need to see 20 plus something 20 plus 1 20 plus 20 20 plus 10 whichever way you see it they need to multiply as you are educating yourself you need to find time as well to discuss issues about money deliberately with your close associates with your family including even your children including even your children make it a point to share and receive anything about financial literacy financial intelligence point number 11 treat money like how you couple someone special would care like holding an egg you need to treat money like a flower you need to plant it you need to fertilize it you need to water it you need to prune it you need to weed around it so treat it as such thank you very much we've come to the end of this episode thank you for sticking around like share comment down there if you love what we bring your way always see you next week for another episode